seeing the sense behind flight schedules is usually straightforward. Between London and New York, for example, the dozens of daily departures range from early morning, 5.50 a.m., Gatwick JFK, Norwegian, to mid-evening, 8.10 p.m., Heathrow JFK, Virgin Atlantic, with a bulge around the middle of the day. The flights at extremes cater for the specific requirements of people who need to get to New York really early or leave London really late but most allow plenty of time to get to the departure airport and from the arrival gateway. Stranded TUI passengers forced to sleep on Manchester airport floor yet coming back apart from a handful of services between about 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., departures don't begin until 6 p.m., whereupon they are leaving sometimes every 5 or 10 minutes. That's because the 5-hour difference in 3,544-mile journey means your departure time from New York p.m. is roughly your arrival time in London am, leave at 8 p.m., arrive at 8 a.m. and so on. No one wants to arrive in the UK at 3 a.m., and, at Heathrow, airlines wouldn't be allowed to schedule such a flight, so there's no 3 p.m. departure. It's all about the passengers' interests. Mark M. describes the timetable of holiday flights to Turkish resorts as, awful. When we fly to most European holiday destinations we can normally get a good choice of flight times. But for Turkey they're always late night, early morning arrivals. Any reason for this? I set out to investigate, starting with the schedules for next Saturday from Britain's top holiday airports, Gatwick and Manchester, to Dalaman and Antalya, the two leading Turkish holiday gateways, of the total of 14 departures, almost all are in a band between 2 p.m. and 9 p.m. With a flying time of 4 hours plus, and the 2-hour time difference with Turkey, that implies an arrival time from 8 p.m. to beyond 3 a.m., not at all convenient if you have a 2-hour transfer to your resort. The two exceptions are both Manchester Dalaman flights, EasyJet at 6.05 a.m. and Thomas Cook at 8 a.m., which means an uncomfortably early start. The same pattern emerges for all the other UK airports I have tried, including Bristol, Birmingham, East Midlands, Edinburgh, Leeds, Bradford and Newcastle. For comparison, on the same day, Gatwick offers 13 departures to Malaga alone, spread fairly evenly from 5.45 a.m. on EasyJet to 8.20 p.m. on Norwegian, so why is there no departure to Antalya or Dalaman at, say, 10 a.m.? Such a flight would provide plenty of time to reach the airport and an arrival in Turkey around 4 p.m. Inbound passengers would be grateful, too, with a homeward flight at perhaps 5.30 p.m., touching down before 8 p.m. I reckon it is all to do with what else is required from the plane. Airlines like to get the first wave of departures going at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. The jet can make it comfortably to Alicante, Malaga or Faro and back by about 1 p.m. So 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. is a good time to get going to Turkey, with the inbound plane getting home around midnight. During the summer, ideally the aircraft should work even harder, and be earning money all through the night. So airlines can slot in another Iberian round trip during the afternoon, making the plane ready for a 9pm departure to Turkey, and bringing it back by about 7am ready for the next day's operation. The problem is, no one likes arriving blearily at a foreign airport at 3am. The thinking seems to be that people who are choosing Turkey for their holidays are a. resigned to a long flight and b. price sensitive, and therefore more prepared to tolerate overnight travel in return for a good deal. But Mark's question triggers another issue, is there a market for a civilized departure to a Turkish holiday airport? Possibly. I have studied the flight pattern to the island of Cyprus, which is essentially the same distance. The Saturday departure schedule to Larnaca and Paphos from Gatwick and Manchester follows the same basic pattern, mostly afternoon, evening flights, with a few early morning departures. 
but British Airways has a departure from Gatwick Halarnaka at 12.10 p.m. and Dipafos at 12.55 p.m., each arriving in good time for dinner, with the corresponding inbound flights getting home before midnight. If the strong demand to Turkey continues through the summer, BA may decide to try something similar for 2019. Until that happens, my advice is to make a virtue of necessity and build in a stop in Istanbul. Fares on Turkish Airlines and Pegasus are, like the timings, generally friendly. From the London airports, they offer five departures between 10.35 am and around noon. Or save a day, and a night's accommodation. By catching the midnight plane from Stansted on Pegasus, arriving shortly before 6 am in one of the greatest cities on Earth, an option that I would choose over a 3 am touchdown anywhere.